So today we're going to learn about number patterns. Yesterday we talked about shape patterns and today we're going to use numbers in place of shapes. So when trying to figure out a number pattern, you're going to do just that. You're finding out what number comes next in the sequence. So in order to do that, you have to figure out the rule. The rule is what tells you what number is going to come next next. So you also can describe patterns like this. You might see a series of numbers and you might say, oh, that looks like an odd number than an even number. You might say, oh, those are all multiples of two. So you can find patterns in almost any way. So we're going to practice together. I'm going to give us something that we have seen a lot of. So here are our numbers that we're going to start. We've got five, ten, 15, 20, 25. Now I want us to find the next two numbers in this sequence. In order to do that, we kind of have to figure out the rule. How did we get from five to 10, from 10 to 15, from 15 to 20, and from 20 to 25? We use the rule, add, five. So our rule is add five. So for adding five to each, five plus five is 10, 10 plus five is 15, 15 plus five is 20, and 20 plus five is 25. That means the next number is going to be 25 plus five, which we know is 30, and then 30 plus five, which we know is 35. Now, if your teacher or myself were going to say Okay, what is our rule? We already figured out it's plus five, but what is another way that we can describe this pattern? I want us to really look at it for a second and think, what's another way that I can describe this pattern? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. If you guess that we can look at this pattern as an odd and even, and I'm going to use purple for that, odd and even numbers, you're right. Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. So that is a second way that we can determine this pattern. Now, I want us to practice another one together, okay? I'm not going to tell you the rule this time. I'm going to put the numbers up there and I want us to think to ourselves, how can we figure this out? So the numbers that are given are this, three, six, nine, 12 and I want the next two. So if I'm looking at this, I want to think, how did I get from three to six, from six to nine, from nine to 12? What's my rule? I added three. Three plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus three is 12. So now the next numbers is 12 plus three, 15. And then 15 plus three is eight. So another pattern, again, we can look at each number and think, okay, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. But also these are all multiples of three. All of these numbers are also multiples of three. So that is something that you could also say as an answer to what is the number pattern multiples of three. Now we're going to do one more. And I'm going to give you the rule and I'm going to give you the starting number and I want you and your teacher to figure out what it is. So the first number in our sequence is four. Now I want you to figure out the next five numbers. One, two, three, four, five with a rule of plus four. So take a minute with your teacher and I want you guys to figure that out. All right, so here we go again. So if we're starting with the four and our rule is plus four, we start here. Four plus four, we know is eight. Eight plus four, 12. 12 plus four, 16. 16 plus four, 20. And 20 plus four, 24. So we also have a pattern. They're all, do we have a pattern here of odd and even? We don't, but we have a pattern of multiples of four. 
Now, with your teacher, you're going to be doing some guided practice together. Good luck.